Uh, folks, in this video, I'll talk about Supply Chain KPI dashboard, right? And what we have developed, which you can use it. So as we know, if the supply chain is in inefficient or not effective or fragmented, that what will happen is you cannot deliver a good customer value, right? So how you measure that the supply chain is not effective or not efficient, then you start using supply chain KPIs. So supply chain KPIs can help you identify gaps versus targets, benchmarking, show, show you the trend of the last few years. And if there's a gap in terms of your targeted performance, it will help you improve. I have done research and I've seen more than 100 supply chain KPIs, right? And there's plenty of them. And some of them are very industry specific or business specific. After looking into those more than 100 supply chain KPIs, I have selected 18, which is imperative, i.e. most important to cover most of the end-to-end -end elements of the supply chain. When you will download that template, you will you can use as is. It is also possible you are using some of those KPIs. It is also possible you're not using some of those KPIs. So either way, you're going to find that the dashboard very, very useful. Uh, you can start using it as is. In the template, you can see we have a target, we have a benchmark. You can compare from last three years or two years, however you like. It is also very customizable, right? That means you can change some metrics, you can have some internal KPIs, uh, you can use as is with the proper guide, no problem. You can put your logo in, I don't mind, right? So you can, the whole point is to give you, to help you in your current business and uh, drive improvements. So in the later in the video, you will see the step-by-step -step guide, how to use the supply chain KPI dashboard, how to customize it and how to add it. To further help you, I have given a link of the blog, which is top 18 supply chain KPIs for your supply chain team. So in this blog, I have discussed what is supply chain KPIs, how to choose the appropriate KPIs for your own business, uh, what are the main categories of KPIs, and most importantly, why should you use KPIs, right? So read that blog, the link is below, and the link of the KPI dashboard is also in the blog. Hopefully you like it. Uh, we're gonna bring more tools for you, so you're gonna find it helpful. And so let's follow the video from my colleague and how to use the dashboard. Hello, and welcome to this guide for the Supply Chain Management Dojo Measures Dashboard. In this guide, we are going to cover the usage of this file in order for you to be able to use it properly. So first we start with the home sheet. The home sheet shows you all the other tabs within the file. And if you click on any of the um, many print screens of that sheet, you will jump to that sheet. So for example, if I press here on the actual tab, I jump to actual. In each sheet, you also have a home icon. If you click on it, you go back to the home page. So each of the sheets are represented by a mini uh, print screen of what you see in that sheet. Okay. User guide is a sheet that gives you some information similar to what we're going to cover here. And it shows you what you can see in this file, what you need to do with a print screen and some detailed information. So this is always available for you within the file. Measures. Measures is an informative, informative sheet. You see for each measure, what is the performance attribute? What is the unit of measure? A description of the measure and a formula guide, how you need to calculate the results. This is an important sheet so that you are 100% aligned with the measures that you want to measure. Back to home page. Now for targets. The targets sheet is where you set up the targets. These will be visible in the charts of the dashboard. The setup is quite simple. For each measure you have to set up a target per month, depending on the unit of measure. You can see in the example, each line has a different unit of measure, percentage, number, value in dollar, etc. So all you need to do is change the numbers and 
later on you would see how that impacts the charts. Actual. Actual sheet is where you fill in the actual results that you want to measure. For each group of measures, you will fill in the results per month. You can also see column D shows you the year. And the first row is highlighted in yellow. All you need to do is change the value of that row and the, all the other rows will change accordingly. So there is a table here for each year. 2018, 2019, all through 221 in this demo, plus some empty rows for 22 through 24. If you want to add more rows, it's very simple. All you need to do is copy copy the rows, the three columns, paste, and change the year. Then you just key in the results, and that's it. So these, this is the actual sheet. So once you set up targets and actual, you can jump to the dashboards themselves. There are three dashboards here in logistics management, inventory management, and basic supply chain. You can see also the description here on above. In each of the dashboards, you have three selections. Select a year, select year to compare, and select month for year to date. The options of the years depend on the years that you have in actual. This is why you see 218 through 224. So you can select a year and you see immediately that the number here change and also the results and of course here and I selected a year with no information so you just see zeros or blanks but you can select any two years that you want they don't have to be in the right order okay the year to date is the last column and here when you change the, the month it will calculate the average of that period so now it's showing the average of the first quarter, January through March. If I ch ch change it to September, it will calculate the average January through September. So each measure is visualized in a different chart. Inventory accuracy, safety, and the third measure for logistics management, warehouse or order picking. In inventory management, you see different measures and basic supply chain. So each tab is a dashboard for different a group of measures. Back to the home page. And here, as, I, as we talked about before, you can jump between the sheets and back to the home page. So now we're going to talk a little bit about changing the measures. So in the dashboard, you can make adjustments to the measures. You can change the name, you can delete, and you can also add new measures. And now we're going to see how we do that. So you start off in the measures sheet. So let's start with changing the name, which is this is the easiest part. All you need to do is go to measure and change the name. I can call this new name. And immediately you will see in the chart where that measure exists that the name will change in the chart. In the targets you will see the new name and in the actuals. So they're all connected to measure. So that's the most simple change to make. 
Now, let's say you want to delete a measure. So you can just mark the, the line and delete. Now, what will happen is the number of measures will change. It's still going to pull the measures, but we're going to have to make some adjustments uh, to the data. Let's start with targets. So you see now we have one less measure, but all of the information, all of the targets are still here. So we have an extra line. So the best thing to do in this case is to simply delete and shift cells up. And that way we have um, deleted that line of targets. The same for actuals. So everything here jumps to row. Okay. So I'm just going to select the entire row. Delete. Shift up. Okay. That's from a targets and actual perspective. The last part, which is the trickiest part, is to change the charts. So you see automatically all the charts changed. But what could happen is that the unit of measure would change and the chart would need to be adjusted. So this is still percentage. This is still percentage. But this is not a percentage anymore. And you see that it changed um, the measure. So in order to change the unit of measure, you have to go to uh, column AF, click this plus sign. And here you can see where you need to make the changes. So this KPI is now days, not percentage. So I'm just going to select it and right click, format cells. And I can change to number, for example, whatever you want to do and make the adjustments. And you see that I also need to change this back to percentage. Okay, so you, would, you immediately would see that you have a problem. Now I can just close this and let's, let's check everything's in order. Okay, so now it looks okay. The numbers in the unit of measure, everything looks okay. So that's how you delete a measure. Now, let's say you want to add a new measure. So you have to go all the way to the bottom, key in the performance attribute, one of the three, like basic supply chain. And I'm going to call this new KPI June 21. And this will be percentage. And of course, description and the guide. It's good for you to have this information filled out. Okay, now you see, will see that in the targets, go all the way down, I will, I will see this new measurement here. So I'll need to put in some targets. Let's put 75% across and also in actuals. So all the way down and you see the new KPI. And just going to put in some figures so we see in the chart. Okay, 95%. Just so we see the difference here over here. And if we go to supply chain all the way down, there's also already few empty charts set up and you can see you already get the results now this the default is percentage but as we saw before in case it's not all you need to do is change the unit of itself I'll keep it because it's percentage but if you need to change it just like we saw before um, so for each attribute there are um, up to 10 charts or up to 10 K measures. So you have uh, 
room for flexibility and in case you want more you can just copy the formulas and add more charts so again going very quickly on how to make the adjustments change the name just change the name here in measure everything else is going to be automatic it's going to be fixed delete you delete the measure here then you would need to adjust probably you need to double check that the charts that the unit of measure or the unit of measure needs to be changed or not and you would need to move up or down the targets based on whatever line you delete and the same for actual and in order to add a measure you just have to go all the way down and key in the information and key in the information for targets and actual and everything else will be sorted good luck so if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe and leave your comments below